How's it going everybody? So with yesterday's Warriors 10 I'm sure everyone's hyped about the new characters but I want to give you guys my opinion about the upcoming raid buffs. All this is under the premise that they actually fix all soft feints, unlocks and whatnot. This means that Raider moves back to the bottom of all the tier lists. I'm well aware of what some of you think about tech as you remind me ever so kindly every time I post footage of it but let's be honest here for a second, these exploits were the only reason you saw any Raider in tournaments to begin with. But let's get started. I'll be going over each point in the patch notes one by one. Link is in the video description if you want to check for yourself. First are the stunning tap mix-ups. Come Tuesday we'll be able to cancel every single one of our heavies into a stunning tap. If you've watched some of my previous Raider Duel videos, you've seen me do something similar. Where I throw a heavy after a wall punish, do a follow up heavy, faint tap and then throw another heavy into a stun tap. Well, in the end it's still just a stun and tap. The attack counts as a light, so getting parried is extremely harsh. When you face people that are used to fighting Raider, then all they will do is block the side attacks and wait to parry the top follow-ups. This change will frankly do absolutely nothing, because within a week or so people have seen enough mix-ups that they'll be able to parry just like they do with the normal heavy stunning tap mix up right now. All this will do in the end is save us some stamina on the rare occasion that we might actually use chained attacks. Then the zone attack bug fix. Patch notes say, zone attack can't be fainted if performed out of guard mode. For most people this is only a relevant change. This mostly came into play when you used unlock tech and fainted when your opponent dodged so you could get him with a guard break. With no more unlock there's really no reason to faint it anymore. Then Stampede Charge. The Raider Stampede Charge is his move where he carries his opponent forward and then throws him on the ground or into a wall. Let's talk about the carrying first. They fixed the stamina recovery of the opponent during the move, while now also draining him during the carry. Well, let's be honest here for a second, the only time you use that move is to ledge someone. And even if this move now manages to drain someone of all stamina, you still somehow need to punish him for being out of stamina. Now the wall stun with a knee to the face. This move now got damage, it does 15 just like all Raider lights. It also had its recovery reduced by 100 milliseconds so it can throw an attack sooner. Without testing this, I don't know which attacks you can land on this, but I guess we're looking at another light which would allow for 30 damage wall throw. Whoop the fucking do. But hey, maybe we'll get a heavy. Kinda doubt it though. The big question though with this move, which isn't mentioned anywhere. Can you drain your opponent of all his stamina with it? Because as it is right now, you always put him on like 20% of his stamina, not lower. We all know that being out of stamina in front of a raider is scary, but if he doesn't really have any options to put you into that state, then what's the point? You're still fishing for Paris to get him out of stamina then. Next up, the damage increase. All these lights now do 15 damage. Yeah, as if you could ever land a light chain against a decent opponent without getting parried. The attacks are too slow for that. And hey, just a side note, our lights still do less damage than the peacekeepers. And the last thing, stamina increase. What? Seriously, fucking what? 10 more stamina. No one will ever notice. So after hearing all that, ask yourself the question, did these changes make the raid viable now? The answer is a big hell no. We'll still be on the bottom of every tier list together with Kensei and Zerka. We'll actually be in a worse state than we are now. So if anybody was afraid he'd see a ton of raiders all of a sudden, don't worry, I'm not gonna happen. We're still stuck with slow attacks that can now be parried without any worry in the world. 
we still lack a consistent guard break follow up like all other characters. Oh well, let me know what you think of all these changes and whether you think I'm full of shit with my assessment or not that far off after all. Of course, I still need to actually play with the changes to make a final conclusion, but this is it for now. Thanks for watching guys, latest everybody.